Dear friends, welcome to the virtual celebration of the Republic Day of Azerbaijan in Los Angeles. We will begin with the national anthems of the Republic of Azerbaijan and the United States of America. Today, we are celebrating a remarkable achievement in the history of Azerbaijani people. Namely, 103 years ago, on May 28, 1918, the people of Azerbaijan established their first republic, the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, which also became the first secular democracy among all Muslim nations. This republic also became the first majority Muslim nation to grant women the right to vote and run for election. In fact, Azerbaijan became one of the first countries to allow women to vote, pioneering women empowerment and emancipation in our region and beyond. The new republic also formed its diplomatic service and sent a delegation to the Paris Peace Conference. On May 28, 1919, the Azerbaijani delegation met with the U.S. President Woodrow Wilson in Paris. The meeting left a deep impression on President Wilson to the extent that upon his return to the United States, Woodrow Wilson mentioned that meeting repeatedly in his public remarks around the United States, including in California, 
speaking highly of Azerbaijani diplomats and the values they represented. Unfortunately, in April 1920, the independence of Azerbaijan was cut short by the country's Soviet invasion, followed by its forced incorporation into the Soviet Union in 1922. In 1991, after more than 70 years of Soviet oppression, Azerbaijan regained its freedom and independence and established its uh, second independent republic, the Republic of Azerbaijan. When we reclaimed our freedom, all odds were against Azerbaijan. Domestic chaos, economic collapse, massive unemployment and poverty marked the early years of Azerbaijan's independence. On top of all these challenges, we also faced a military aggression by neighboring Armenia that resulted in the illegal occupation of 20% of Azerbaijan's sovereign territory and expulsion of over 1 million Azerbaijani civilians from their homes and lands. However, against all these odds, Azerbaijan has survived. Over the last 30 years, Azerbaijan has built a vibrant nation that holds its independence above anything else. Under the visionary leadership of President Ilham Aliyev, Azerbaijan has become the largest economy in the region, with one of the most competitive economies in the world, implementing energy and transportation projects of global importance like the newly launched railroad connecting Asia with Europe or vastly contributing to the energy security of European nations. The welfare of the population has improved significantly. According to the World Bank, the poverty rate in Azerbaijan has been reduced from 50% in 2001 to under 5% today. And the relationship with the United States that started with the first encounter in Paris 102 years ago has continued since 1991, becoming a true friendship between our two nations and peoples. Together we have built a strategic partnership that's based on shared values, interests and vision for the future. In 2020, Azerbaijan liberated its territories from occupation and restored historical justice. I will talk more about this restoration of justice and Azerbaijan's patriotic war later during the program. We are all proud that 103 years later we are celebrating the anniversary of our first republic as a free, independent and confident nation that has never been as strong and prosperous as it is today. As President Ilham Aliyev said, the founding fathers of our first republic would have been proud to see the present day Azerbaijan. Now I would like to invite you to watch a short film recently produced by our Consul General about Azerbaijan's first republic.
As Consul General, I'm immensely proud to represent my nation, Azerbaijan, in the Western United States, where we have established many lasting friendships. My dear friends, elected officials uh, from states of California, Arizona, Utah and Washington have sent us messages of congratulations. And it's a great pleasure to present them to you. Salam Aleikum. I'm State Senator Josh Newman, proud to represent California's 29th Senate District, which includes portions of Los Angeles, Orange, and San Bernardino counties. It is my great pleasure and privilege to be with you virtually this evening to join with the California Azerbaijani community to commemorate the 103rd anniversary of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. Upon its founding in 1918, the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic set a precedent as both the first secular democracy in the Muslim world and the first to grant voting rights to women as well. Today, the Republic of Azerbaijan stands out as a key strategic partner to the United States. Your nation has been instrumental in the fight against global terrorism, rendering critical assistance to the United States in the wake of the 9-11 attacks, opening your airspace and airports for use by coalition troops in Afghanistan, and willingly sending your sons and daughters to serve alongside ours in the global war on terror. As the largest economy in the South Caucasus region, Azerbaijan continues to be the United States' largest trading partner in the region. California, as the largest state in the nation and as the world's fifth largest economy, also stands as a key economic partner, in no small part due to the important efforts of the Consul General of Azerbaijan, Nassimi Agayev, whom I am very proud to call my friend. It is in that grateful and admiring spirit that I am honored to be participating virtually in this year's commemoration of the 103rd anniversary of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. I look forward to celebrating the 104th with you next year in person. Thank you. Hi, I'm Senator Gene Davis, state senator from the great state of Utah. Now, I want to take a moment to congratulate the people of Azerbaijan on your Republic Day. It's looking back on your country's history. And in 1918, when you established the Republic of Azerbaijan, giving women the right to vote, celebrating multiculturalism throughout the land, and religious freedom. A year ago, I had the distinct honor of welcoming uh, a religious delegation from Azerbaijan. And as they spent time here in our great state, they looked at the various religious uh, buildings, various religions that we celebrate here in the United States and in the state of Utah. And I can tell you, I'm really happy and pleased with the celebration and the getting along and blending of these religions and the people who are represented here in the state of Utah. Truly a tribute to the nation of Azerbaijan and to your republic. Continue to celebrate, be strong, and most of all, celebrate your freedom. You know how much it means. Hello, I'm Arizona State Senator J.D. Mesnard, and I just wanted to record a short video extending my congratulations to the people of Azerbaijan for the 103rd anniversary of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, the first ever secular democracy among all Muslim nations, and the first to grant voting and elections rights to women in 1919. You may be interested to know that that was the same year the U.S. Congress proposed an amendment to the U.S. Constitution, also granting women the right to vote. I wanted to take note of the fact that the first Azerbaijani Republic had a multicultural parliament and cabinet that also included Christian and Jewish representatives. And I know the current second Republic was built on the same principles of secularism, inclusivity, and interfaith and intercultural harmony. My wife and I actually had the privilege of traveling to Azerbaijan a few years ago when I was the speaker of the Arizona House of Representatives. I was able to meet with some of your government officials and we enjoyed learning about your culture, visiting various parts of your beautiful country and getting to know some of the wonderful people there. It was truly an experience we will never forget. That's why on this occasion, I wanted to make sure to say hello. And again, congratulations. It is a great privilege for me to congratulate the leaders and people of Azerbaijan on Republic Day, a day of remembrance and a day to recommit to the principles of freedom and democracy. 
Azerbaijan has been steadfast in its commitment to democracy and to the principles of secularism, which brings people together. In a region of strife, Azerbaijan has been an instrument of peace, and the world is grateful. In 2015, the Washington State Senate gave special recognition to Azerbaijan. We sent a message of support for the strategic partnership and friendship between the United States and Azerbaijan. Washington State has directly benefited from Azerbaijan's economic partnerships with Boeing, Microsoft, and other businesses. We want to expand our relations in trade, in cultural awareness, and in educational exchange. I have enjoyed my visit to the amazing country of the Republic of Azerbaijan, its wonderful people, its care and planning for its natural resources, and its almost immediate voting rights for women make Azerbaijan a standout among nations. It is truly a land of fire where hearts burn with hope and look forward to an even brighter future. Have a blessed celebration this Republic Day and always. Azerbaijan's capital, Baku, and San Diego have enjoyed a great relationship over the years with many cultural events, and we look forward to many more. Congratulations on this momentous occasion. Thank you very much to our distinguished elected officials for these very beautiful remarks. We appreciate it. On the occasion of Azerbaijan's Republic Day, we have received uh, messages of congratulations from our dear friends, uh, prominent faith and community leaders, and I'm delighted to present them to you. Hello, my name is David Harris. I'm CEO of American Jewish Committee, and I'm pleased to be with you. Nazim Yagayev, the Consul General of Azerbaijan in Los Angeles, and a dear friend of mine, asked me to participate in this 103rd anniversary of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. As a student of history, I know something about just how forward-looking that republic was when it was established in 1918. Uh, especially with respect to women's rights and democracy. I also know, as you do, that it was short-lived and replaced soon after by Soviet occupation, which lasted until 1991, when Azerbaijan fortunately and courageously regained its independence. I've been a friend of Azerbaijan now for decades, and sometimes people ask me why. And my answer is really very simple. Uh, I've been to Azerbaijan more times than I can count, I think, at this point. Uh, and I've seen with my own eyes again and again uh, just how important and how impressive in so many ways this country is. Let me think out loud with you. Its strategic importance in the Caucasus on the Caspian Sea and given its neighborhood, especially to the north and south. Uh, its importance to the United States as a strategic ally. Uh, its close ties with the state of Israel in just about every sphere. The importance of a, an ancient Jewish community, which has lived on the soil of Azerbaijan, we believe, for more than 2,000 years. And even in the worst days of the Soviet Union, when anti-Semitism was at its peak, we know that Azerbaijan did whatever it could to try and insulate the Jews there from the worst of that anti-Semitism coming from Moscow. And we also know, and I've seen it, repeatedly on my visits, that there is this, this, this religious tolerance, this atmosphere of respect. Uh, the vast majority of people are, of course, Shia Muslims, but there are also Christians, there are Jews, and there are others. And they all live um, in an environment where they can worship, where they can practice freely, and where they can participate as equal citizens. So for me, it's a great pleasure and a privilege to be able to join with you uh, in celebrating this important occasion for Azerbaijan and recognizing all the strides that it has made, uh, particularly since 1991, now 30 years uh, since its liberation from the Soviet Union. My best to everyone on this 103rd anniversary of the establishment of Azerbaijan's Democratic Republic. Let me add my voice on behalf of everyone at the Simon Wiesenthal Center uh, to congratulate uh, Azerbaijan May 28th is an important uh, anniversary, uh, the 1918 attempt to create a free Azerbaijan based on democratic values, which included amazingly the first Muslim country to give uh, full voting rights to uh, women. Uh, would have been a different world if uh, uh, that uh, wonderful experiment had been able to flourish 
but we know it intervened in the meantime, two wars, a Soviet uh, uh, intervention, and in fact, my first visit to Baku was in 1972 during the Soviet period, when I saw firsthand how the citizens in Azerbaijan, Muslims and Jews that I saw, especially in the Jewish community, had to struggle in a system that was officially atheistic and how there was, I believe, a sense of affinity between faith communities, even back then. In more recent years, it's been my honor to return to Azerbaijan numerous times, interfaith meetings, meetings with uh, President Aliyev, one of the great uh, leaders of the region and around the world, uh, as well as to uh, bring our exhibition on the history of the Jewish people in the land of Israel uh, to Azerbaijan, the first Muslim country to host our UNESCO exhibition on Israel. And you can be sure that we'll do everything we can to uh, further strengthen our relations, uh, to help bring about, in a small way, to expand peace, not just absence of war, uh, and to work with people of goodwill for a great future for uh, our children and grandchildren. And finally, uh, to thank Azerbaijan and its leadership and its people for choosing to have an open and friendly relationship with the Jewish people and with the Jewish state of Israel. We know it wasn't uh, easy to make such a decision, and we know it's not so simple to maintain it, but we're thrilled to see how these relationships continue to grow. Uh, and uh, I'm hopeful that Azerbaijan will continue to serve as an inspiration to other Muslim countries uh, to join in in uh, either the Abrahamic Accords or to do things bilaterally. But I always try to bring faith leaders to your nation in order to show them religious tolerance and mutual respect in action. All the best and congratulations. Today marks Azerbaijan's Republic Day, Respublika Günü. On May 28, 1918, the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic was founded as the first parliamentary republic and the first democratic, legal and secular state in the Turkish and Islamic world. The modern Republic of Azerbaijan proclaimed its independence from the Soviet Union on 30th of August, 1991. And on November 9, 2020, brave Azerbaijani soldiers freed Karabakh and the seven districts around it from Armenia's brutal occupation after a 44-day epic war. I'm proud to be a part of celebrations honoring Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan and Turkey are two states established by one nation. Long live Azerbaijan. On behalf of people of Pakistan, Council of Pakistan, I, Adnan Khan, deliver this message to the President of Azerbaijan, Vice President of Azerbaijan, that people of Pakistan stand with people of Azerbaijan in this day, on this Republic Day, that we, the Pakistanis, are celebrating along with the people of Azerbaijan. We are two brotherly countries working together, and we today send this congratulations to people of Azerbaijan, in Azerbaijan and around the world, that we are brothers and we work together. Thank you. Azerbaijan is unique in the Islamic world, having more than 100 years ago established the first secular democracy among Muslim peoples. It was a democracy a century ago, which granted voting rights to women, which had uh, amongst its representatives both Jews and Christians. And to this day, the spirit of Azerbaijan uh, carries on. And it's in that spirit that I offer my own congratulations on this national day to President Aliyev uh, and his family, uh, to the Sheikh of the Caucasus, uh, to my many Muslim, Christian, and Jewish friends. Uh, may this national day uh, be a time to remember all of the blessings of God 
uh, that have been given to you, the natural resources and the ground, the spirit of coexistence that's part of the Azerbaijani way, the unique friendships and allies uh, around the world, and some of those friends uh, in my part of the world, in the United States of America. So congratulations, and may what is ahead of you be even brighter uh, than the history behind you. I have very fond memories of our trip to Azerbaijan, where we were greeted warmly everywhere in the country. And so from the American Jewish community, and certainly from Sinai Temple in Los Angeles, I want to wish you a Yom Huledet Sameach, a very happy birthday. Hello, my name is Haypin M, and I serve as President and CEO of Faith and Community Empowerment. Uh, we do work in terms of connecting church and community, as well as being a voice for the Asian American community. I just want to say congratulations to the country of Azerbaijan on your 103rd anniversary of establishing your democratic republic. I remember uh, traveling to Azerbaijan not just once but twice and just being so impressed uh, with your commitment to multiculturalism and really supporting all uh, faiths as well as ethnicities. Um, I remember just being so impressed that your country allowed um, women to vote even before the United States um, as well as again just the amazing beauty of your country and also your commitment um, to uh, education, especially for the next generation. So again, I just want to say thank you and a big shout out to Council General Nasimi, who has been an amazing friend and an amazing advocate and champion and ambassador for Azerbaijan. Thank you and I look forward to celebrating with many years to come. Hello, I'm Susan Azizadeh, President of the Iranian American Jewish Federation, and I'm delighted to join you in celebrating 103 years of Azerbaijan's independence. On behalf of the Iranian American Jewish community, I congratulate the people of Azerbaijan for their remarkable achievements, rebuilding intelligent infrastructure, improving a competitive education system, strengthening international ties, and prioritizing social causes. Azerbaijan Democratic Republic is the first ever secular democracy among all Muslim nations and the first to grant voting and election rights to women, naming men and women equals before the law. This nation's multicultural parliament and cabinet rightfully reflect the diversity, interfaith, harmony, and inclusive nature of its people. As Jews from the Middle East, we recognize the voice Azerbaijan has given to its Jewish community, granting them representation in politics, as well as embracing and preserving the history of mountain Jews in the only museum of its kind in the entire world. A progressive land with a strong vision of the future, Azerbaijan continues to blossom from a soil that has faced many hardships and challenges. A story, Jews around the world, and the nation of Israel are no stranger to. We send our praise to His Excellency, President Ilham Aliyev, for his inspiring leadership to his people and invaluable allyship to the nation of Israel. As we continue to uplift and empower one another from adversity into sovereignty, we see that passion, tolerance, and patriotism sustain the fire that drives great nations forward together. I humbly thank Honorable Nasimi Agayev, Consul General of Azerbaijan in Los Angeles and Dean of the Los Angeles Consular Corps for his continued partnership and friendship as we have united our communities over the years. A beautifully woven bridge between Asia, the Middle East and Europe the world lives in Azerbaijan, and the world celebrates your freedom. Happy Independence Day. Greetings from the Los Angeles Baha'i community on the occasion of Republic Day, the 103rd anniversary of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. As the first secular democracy in a Muslim-majority country, and also the first such country, to promote the equality of women and men 
by granting election and voting rights to women in 1919. It is an honor to join you on this National Day of Celebration. There is an expression in the Persian language that's used as a greeting to express one's happiness. Chashme Ma Roshan, meaning our eyes are bright. Today, I join you virtually in honoring the sacrifice of so many who struggled to create an independent state 103 years ago. But someday, I hope to walk with you arm in arm down East Iglaliat Street in Baku. Until that time, please accept our very best wishes and congratulations to the people of Azerbaijan on this historic occasion. Be well, be happy. My name is Mitch Silberman. I am one of the founders of the Jewish Republican Alliance here in the United States of America. I wanna congratulate Azerbaijan on celebrating its 103rd anniversary as a democratic republic. I had the honor of visiting Azerbaijan in February of 2020 to witness their parliamentary elections. It's a remarkable country filled with amazing people. We love the hospitality and of course the food. As a Jew, I was particularly touched how embracing they are of Judaism, Jews, and of course their friendship with Israel. It's a great country which should serve as a model to the rest of the world of how Muslims, Jews, and Christians can all get along and prosper in a wonderful country. I'm very blessed to have visited your great country, which has an amazing past and a bright future. Again, congratulations, 103 years as a democratic republic. Well done and good luck for the future. Dear world Azerbaijanis, on behalf of California Azerbaijan Friendship Association and all our compatriots residing in California, I would like to take this wonderful chance to congratulate all of you on the occasion of the um, Azerbaijan Republic Day. This remarkable date marks the foundation of the very first secular democratic state um, in the Muslim East um, on the 28th of May, 1918. Among the most important uh, accomplishments of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic was granting women equal political rights with men and the right to vote. This, it goes without saying that this day has been a turning point in the history of um, independent Azerbaijan. Here in California, we are making all possible efforts to um, raise awareness of our beloved country and its unique culture. Thank you and our congratulations and best wishes. Blessed Republic Day to the nation of Azerbaijan. I am Jana Scott, the founding executive director of the Baku International Multiculturalism Center in Phoenix, Arizona. I want to honor the nation of Azerbaijan today on this Your Republic Day. You have stood with dignity through territorial intervention, through COVID-19, but yet you stand as a nation that celebrates and honors such diversity. I am so grateful for the nation of Azerbaijan, and I pray that you have a wonderful remembrance this year of the Azerbaijan Republic Day. My hat's off as well to Consul General Nasimi Agayev and his staff in Los Angeles, California. You all stand as a testament to the dignity and the human compassion of people who love and seek diversity and reconciliation even in the midst of adversity. Thank God for the nation of Azerbaijan. May you continue to be blessed and know that the future belongs to you. My name is Martin Crumate, and I'm chairman of the San Diego Baku Friendship Association. On behalf of the association, I would like to congratulate Azerbaijan on its 103rd anniversary as a democratic republic. Azerbaijan was the first ever democracy among all Muslim nations, and it was the first to grant voting and election rights to women. San Diego and Baku have enjoyed a marvelous relationship for more than 10 years. Together, we have collaborated on approximately 35 or so events, everything from music to food to chess. It's a shining example of what citizen diplomacy is all about. Simply people to people, becoming friends, working on projects which are mutually beneficial. 
Again, congratulations, Oscar Prajan, on this momentous occasion. Congratulations on Azerbaijan Republic Day. I'm Nancy Selfridge, Chairman of the Monterey Lankaran Sister City Friendship Association. On May 28, 1918, the Azerbaijani people established the first democracy in the entire Muslim world. Azerbaijan has championed women's rights and granted the right of women to vote in 1919. Today, Azerbaijan is a place where all religions live together in peace and harmony. The city of Monterey, California, and the city of Lankaran, Azerbaijan, have enjoyed sister city relationships since 2012. We have collaborated on many projects and participated in many cultural exchanges with representatives from both cities. I want to congratulate the people of Azerbaijan on their Independence Day. And I love Azerbaijan and I love Lankaran. Thank you very much to the distinguished faith and community leaders for these most amazing remarks. We appreciate your friendship. 2020 was a challenging year for Azerbaijan, not only in terms of the global pandemic, but also in terms of a new war of aggression and occupation that was unexpectedly unleashed against Azerbaijan by neighboring Armenia. During the 44-day patriotic war, under the leadership of our commander-in-chief, President Ilham Aliyev, our armed forces were able to liberate large parts of Azerbaijan's territories from Armenia's 30-year-long internationally condemned illegal occupation. Being compelled to sign a ceasefire statement, Armenia agreed to withdraw from three more districts of Azerbaijan. Thus, Azerbaijan's international recognized sovereignty and territorial integrity was restored. It was also the restoration of historical justice. Now over a million forcibly displaced Azerbaijanis will finally be able to return to their homelands. Azerbaijan has already started clearing the areas from landmines and rebuilding them using smart and green technologies. Azerbaijan is ready to live in peace with Armenia and restore the peaceful coexistence of our two people. Normalization of relations and unblocking of all communications between our two countries is possible and important steps are being undertaken to make it a reality. Recently, the Haider Aliyev Foundation of Azerbaijan, led by First Vice President Ms. Mehriban Aliyeva, held a wonderful music festival called Khari Bülbül Festival in the liberated city of Shusha in Karabakh. Shusha has been declared the cultural capital of Azerbaijan by President Ilham Aliyev. I'm pleased to present the opening Azerbaijani Mugam performance of this festival that took place on Shusha's beautiful, world-famous Jidr Plain. <laughs> Çöksün de 
çarpan ürəksən Mən sənin köksündə gitir bir zərrə Mənə qanat verən Mənə qanat verən o düzəksən Adın azına vətən deyirəm Çölünə, düzünə vətən deyirəm The Harib Bilbil Festival in the liberated city of Shusha was also dedicated to showcasing Azerbaijan's diversity and multiculturalism. Representatives of various ethnicities living in Azerbaijan performed their folk songs and dances. As samples, I would like to present two performances to you. The first one is an Avar song performance. The second is a Jewish dance. Yahudi xalq musiqisi Musiqi işləməsi Anatoli Qusa aiddir İfa edir Xaverud Folklor kollektivi
Western United States, particularly California, is home to a large and vibrant Azerbaijani community who contribute vastly to the prosperity and diversity of the states they live in. Last year, despite many challenges, our community was united as never before to convey the truth of Azerbaijan and fight media bias and injustice. Thank you very much for your activism. Çox sağ olun. I am delighted now to present a new musical performance by famous Azerbaijani Kamancha master Imam Yar Hasanov, who is a proud member of California's Azerbaijani community. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in and being part of our virtual celebration of Azerbaijan's Republic Day. I'm looking forward to celebrating the next anniversary with you in person. Stay healthy, stay well. <laughs>